I'm here at the UN uh, CCW meetings to provide expert testimony to the member states on mapping autonomy and what autonomous systems or semi-autonomous systems look like currently today as they're fielded. Um, I'm also here to help with the United Nations Institute for Disarmament Research, UNIDIR, and give a talk on unintentional risks and development of risks associated with autonomous systems. I think that autonomous weapon systems, as we've discussed over and over again, create too many incentives for tragic consequences, international instability, war, human rights violations, and I think that it would be wise for the international community to consider all of these implications and preventively ban them before these type of dystopic futures become a reality. So we see concomitant developments in the civilian sphere with relation to autonomous systems, self-driving cars, um, AI algorithms on stock markets. We see all of these different applications and we see some of the things that are problematic with them. And what we're talking about doing is taking those types of systems that are inherently a little bit problematic, that, that raise ethical questions in their own domain, which is civilian, and putting them in a, in a system, and putting them in hostilities with weapons. So I think that that is something that we ought to really give pause to think about whether or not we want systems that are potentially problematic already in a civilian, in a civilian system, armed in an armed conflict. There needs to be collective buy-in by member states, by civil society, by individuals, that they don't want to walk into a dystopian future um, where you have automated killing, um, autonomous systems killing individuals, or, or even autonomous systems as tiny little sensors engaged in mass surveillance. Um, there's so many different aspects to the problem of autonomous weapons that we have to consider holistically um, to see all of the different types of incentive structures and perverse features that could result. I feel incredibly honored to be the first woman, um, one of the first, me and Alice, <laughs> to be one of the first women um, on, a, on an opening panel at CCW. Um, so I, I feel incredibly honored to, to be in that position. But I also think that there needs to be more. There needs to be, there are so many more female experts and there are so many more women who are incredibly qualified to be here and to discuss things and that we need to stop thinking that they're just not available or that engaging in basically masculinist policies um, that are papered over as normalized. Um, so I'm, I'm incredibly honored to be here, but it's not enough. It needs to go farther.